I fix that.
Well, most of it's done. I didn't sand it. I'm going to sand it now a little bit. Bowl is reasonable enough in there. So I'm going to take the back of this, get some of those marks out with this. You could do it with the, the 105 too, more 105, but I'm going to do it with this. And one thing I do want to say is this part in here, it's 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 pretty much done with with this. Where, where am I here? There you go. This knife. Do not go in with a regular knife and start to touch these edges up. Now, nine times out of ten, you'll blow out the end. It'll chip out on you. And um, I'm not. I'm still a beginner spoon, uh, spoon maker, even though I've made 125, 130 spoons, whatever. Every time I mess with that, you get a problem. Hook knife, you can mess with it a little bit. Put a regular knife in there? No. The top around the edges a little bit? The, yeah, but not inside. So, just remember that. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, nothing fancy. It's very functional. Um, fairly good capacity. You can use soup or rice or whatever with it. But, uh, sapwood handle pretty much. You can see how it is there. It'll look nicer when it's all oiled up. And then uh, heartwood here. Heartwood on the inside. So that's it. So I'm going to work on this more. I'm going to take out the stuff on the end here a little bit. The stuff. And again, I, I make my spoons functional. I, don't, I could stay here all day. I can make a perfect spoon. It'll drive me nuts and I won't want to do it anymore. So... But as you do it, you get better at it. Or, But every piece of wood is good. You may think you're doing something good, then you blow it. But, uh, yeah. So, and if you... 90 to 95% of the time, I don't use a bandsaw or anything like that. But when you, And I'm not experienced with it. And I, I found out that a lot of times I try to cut things and shape it. And then I have this, and then I blow a hole through the middle of it. So, you know... But if you're experienced with that stuff, make spoons um, like that, they do come out pretty good. You still have to do a lot of work on them, sanding and, and stuff like that. Some people are really good. They don't have to sand. You know, this doesn't need too much sanding, really. It's pretty smooth. But even with a bandsaw, some people are extremely experienced with it. If you got that, use that. If you're good with it, use it. So there's no rules there. But, um, yeah, I like sitting out there with most of it by hand. Um, this is green almost totally almost green wood and uh, so it's pretty easy to work with so it's Queenie Asimov fair rod and yeah take care peace